But at first, Golden Gate is, in our point of view, the only option which allows you real zero downtime upgrades combined with, and I personally think this is a true strength of Golden Gate, excellent fallback capabilities and a lot of flexibility. Just keep in mind, if you have Golden Gate licenses, Active Data Guard is automatically included. Unfortunately, not the other way around. So this is how Golden Gate works. You're connected to a source database and application works here, users work there. First thing is that we need an initial copy now of our source database. And this can go cross-platform, cross, uh, cross version, whatever. Non-PDB to PDB, everything is possible. True flexibility. Now we start Golden Gate and we start capturing the statements. So insert updates, deletes will be captured and written in so-called trail files. Then this information gets shipped over. You may upgrade the database if it's a copy or it has initially already upgraded implicitly by importing into the target versions, PB, whatever. And once you're done, then you replay your statements. And Golden Gate knows from where to replay. So everything is done the right way. And then you switch over. So this is why we say it's true zero downtime. You just switch over. The only downtime you may see and will be in the application. And if everything is set up correctly, like um, transparent for application failover or uh, application continuity especially, then you won't see even a downtime on the application layer. This is quite nice, quite cool. And even cooler, I personally think, is the reverse replication. So you send everything back now being done in the new environment to the old environment. So you have a true fallback, even to a lower version. You could also have bi-directional replication, but keep in mind that requires a little bit of extra setup work. And um, it's not just clicking out of the box. There's a bit more work, especially for conflict detection and conflict resolution. Because if you do now uh, change on the right side and it's going back to the left side, you don't want to have it coming back afterwards again on the right side. Huh? So you need to sort that out with conflict detection resolution. A few benefits here, to name a few of them. Uh, it's the integrated extract of Golden Gate, we come to this later on, supports also TDE encrypted databases. Then you can encrypt and compress the Golden Gate trail files. That's quite important. You will see in a second. You can test the entire setup with flashback. So there's a nice MOS node about that. And of course, it works cross NDNS. A few considerations to take care on. First of all, the time zone file version must be equal or you go to a higher version, but not to a lower version, please. Because same as with downgrade, time zone can't be downgraded. You may need, if you have an older source database version, you may need some patches for Golden Gate and for the database. So check out our links if that applies to your case and also check the supported data types. Then. Keep in mind, if you set up your destination system, your target with an export import, keep an eye on public objects, public synonyms, public database links, because they are usually not part of the standard full export. So keep an eye on those. And also keep an eye on the performance and statistics information here, database, the diagnosability like AWR, profiles, SQL plan baselines, and so on, SQL patches. If you have very large databases, then you may use the physical standby as the source version for Golden Gate. So you not you don't extract on the on the production, but you extract from the standby. For the switchover capability, you need some additional configuration steps, and failover is not supported. If you use data pump, you don't need to use flashback as you know, flashback time. Uh, this will reduce the amount of redo written on your production because Golden Gate can figure that out. And typically, as a rule of thumb, the Golden Gate trail files uh, are approximately 30 to 40% of your redo. When you enable the compression on them, then you condense them typically down to uh, one to four, so 25% of the original size, and um, up to 
12%, something in that range, 12 to 25%. So you can significantly reduce the amount of the trail falls.